this is Visual Short Academy and I am here to teach you maths. So in maths, our first topic that we'll start is percentage. But before stopping, starting this topic, I want, to, I want all of you to get clear that why percentage is important. So for serious mathematics, our, there are three topics which are most important. The first one is percentage. Percentage. The second one is fractions. And the third one is ratio and proportion. Now, why these three topics or concepts are most important? Since our serious math is highly based on competitive maths, and in competitive maths, the most of the questions can be solved by using the concepts of these three quantities or these three topics. Right. So if you have a, even basic knowledge of percentage, fractions and ratio proportions, you will be able to solve 50% plus questions of CVS. And if you have a very strong grip on these three topics, then you will be able to solve more than 80% plus questions of CVS. So this is how important this percentage topic is. Are you preparing for defense written exams like NDA, CDS, AFCAT or SANIC school entrance exam? Join our written exam preparation courses, practice mock tests and get expert mentor support. Call us at 725-940-7111. Now we'll get started with percentage and see what are what all what all topics are there in it. So first of all we have to deal with this fractions. So what is fraction? So any number that can be expressed in the form of P by Q is called as fractions. So what does this mean P by Q? P by Q means it has to be expressed in the form of numerator and denominator. This is my numerator and this is my denominator. So for example, I have a number as one by two. So one is my numerator and two is my denominator. Similarly, I have another number that is 5 by 7. So 5 is my numerator and 7 is my denominator. Now, these are the these two were the easy numbers, right? I had a very clear indication. Or I can I can see that one is the numerator and two is the denominator. Now comes the number 3.5. Now 3.5 is there. Now we have to express this 3.5 into the form of P by Q. So how you will do it? So first of all, I'll write this 3.5 and remove this decimal point. After removing this decimal point, in denominator, the number 10 will come. Now, this, this whole number can be expressed in the, is in the form of P by Q, right? So similarly, we'll do for 6 percentage. So 6%. So how I can express this as in, in the form of P by Q? So this 6% can be expressed as 6 by 100. So after removing this percentage symbol, I'll, I'll have to add 100 in its denominator. Now, this ha has taken the form of P by Q. So this became, becomes my numerator and this becomes my denominator. So this was all about our fraction. So now our next topic is percentage. Now, what is percentage? Any number which at, at, in, at which in the end the percentage symbol is there is called as percentage right for example 5 percent for example 20 percent for example 33.33 percent .33%. so any number it can be in fractions also so 1 by 2 percent right 50.5 percent right these all are the forms of different forms of percentage or the different ways in it we can write percentage similarly now our important topic, this is the very important process for solving uh, CDS mathematics. So the most important part is fraction to percentage conversion, right? We have to know when we will have to convert my fraction to percentage or my percentage to fraction or vice versa, right? So how will you do? Let, let, let us see. So there is my 25%. So I have my 25% and I have to convert this into the fractions. So how I do? So I'll remove this percentage symbol. After removing this percentage symbol, I'll add 100 in its denominator. Now I'll check if it's simplifying or it's, it is reducing or not. So here I can see it is reducing and this 25 ones are and 25 fours are. Now it becomes one by four. 
So now I can see that this 25 percentage has been converted into the fraction and its fraction value is 1 by 4. Similarly, I'll convert it for 50 percent. So that is my 50 percent. I'll remove this percentage symbol. So I'll get 50 by 100. Now I'll see if I if it's reducing or not. So this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled and 1, 2. So 1 by 2. So my 50 percent has been reduced to the fraction and that fractional value is 1 by 2. Similarly, if we want, we can convert my fraction to percentage also. For example, I'll convert 1 by 4 to 25 percent. How I'll do it? I'll write 1 by 4 and for converting any fraction to percentage value, you multiply it by 100. Right. So after multiplying it by 100, we'll check if it's reducing or not. So yes, it is reducing. So 4 ones are 4 25s are. So now my percentage value for the fraction 1 by 4 is 25%. Right. Similarly, I'll change this 75% or 3 by 4. I'll convert 3 by 4 to its percentage value. Right. So this 3 by 4, I'll multiply it by 100 for converting it to the percentage. Now this and this will get cancelled and this 25 into 3 becomes my 75 percentage. So this is the way we convert fractions to the percentage and percentage to the fractions. And, and when we will do this conversion that depends on the type of question asked or the what question is demanding. All right. So my next is, so there are around 25 to 30 such conversions, such standard conversions that you have to memorize it. Why you have to memorize it is, suppose in question, in CDS examination, it comes that you have to find 33.33% .33 of a number. Right. Suppose I have given you find 33.33% of a number 99. So if we'll go, our, go through our basic method or the method which we learned in schools, right? If we'll go through the, that method, then I will have to multiply these two quantities, right? So that, that much time is not available in CDS examination so that we have to multiply these two quantities or these two numbers. For that, I'll convert this to three, 1 by 3. So if you remember this conversion, you will not have to calculate every time while converting it when you require it. Right. So, so now if you remember this complete table, this whole table, so you you will save a lot lots uh, you'll save a good amount of time while solving this question and you'll be able to obtain more questions in serious examination. So this table you will have to memorize it. This table you will have to memorize it. Right. Now Coming to the next part of this question, so what are the operations on percentage and fractions? So my first, so what what is the what the question is? Suppose I have rupees hundred or ha I have a hundred as a number, right? I have to increase this hundred by its twenty five percent. So I have to increase it by twenty five percent. So if we we'll go by school method or the methods we, which we, we were taught in our schools or in colleges, what we'll have to do? We'll have to first uh, calculate 25% of 100, right? 25% of 100. So after calculating it, we'll get the value as 25. Now we'll add 100 plus 25. So we'll get 125. So cal doing this was easy now. For it, but what else? What if if I'll give you 99 increase 99 as a number and increase it by 33.33%? What if I'll, give, if I'll give you this type of questions? So if I'll give you this type of questions, you'll have to multiply these two, these two numbers, right? And that will be a problem for you. It's not that you will not be able to multiply it, you'll be able to multiply it, but the time taken by you to multiply these two numbers will be uh, a bit more than, you, than you'll be able to solve by the trick, trick method, right? So I'll do it by a uh, new method, right? Or my method. So what I'll do, I'll convert this 25 percentage to fraction. So 25 percentage converted to fraction is 1 by 4, right? Now what I'll take, so I'll consider 4 as a 100, right? And since I have to increase it, increase the, the number, 
I'll consider one as the increment or the amount increment amount or amount of increment I have to do, right? So if I consider four as my original number or hundred and one as the amount of increment that I have to do, so my increased number, so my increased number will be four plus one that is five right but i have to know the exact value of the increase number right five is not the exact value this is the assumed value so now what we'll do we'll relate this we have related this quantity right that four is equal to 100 i have assumed this so i'll relate this i'll calculate the value of one from this so value of one from this will be 100 by four this is the basic unitary method that we are doing it right so this one by four will equal to 25. Now I got the value of one. Now, if I want to get the value of five, what I'll do is I'll multiply with the value of one. So value of one was 25. Now value of five will be five into 25. That will be 125. So this is how you should apply this method. Now you will, you'll think it as, so our conventional method was very much easier than this, right? I'll give you an example. Right. So there is another question, the same question which I gave you last time that this is my number 99 and I have to increase it by increase this number 99 by 33.33 percentage. .33%. Now I will do it by my trick method. So this 33 and by 33 percent, 0.33 percentage is 1 by 3. I considered this 3 as my 99 and this one is the amount of increment that I have to do. So my increased number, increased number will be three plus one, four, four. Now I have related this quantity, right? So my three will be equal to 99. My one will be equal to 33 and my four will be equal to 33 into four. That will be 12,132. All right. So this will be equal to 132. So this is the amount or this is the uh, easiest way or this is the um, less amount of time you'll be able to take. So after a quick practice, after a quick knowledge of this uh, percentage to fraction conversion, what the only thing which you will have to do is to convert this, this percentage to the fraction that what I'll do is I'll convert this fraction, right? I know that my three is related to this. I, in my mind, I'll calculate that, yeah, this one unit's value is 33. From here only I'll calculate my one unit's value is 33 and my increased value should be 4 and only thing that I'll do with my pen and paper will be 33 multiplied by 4. That I'll get it as 132. So this is the amount or uh, this is the uh, amount of time you will save by solving from these methods. Right. So I hope you are clear. So now my next part is I have to decrease the number by 25%. Last time, what we did, we increase the number by 25%. Now we'll decrease the number by 25%. So similarly, I convert this. It will be one by four, 20, fractional value of 25% is one by four. Similarly, as the last time we did, we'll assume this as the original number, that is my 100. And in last time, we were increasing it, right? And we took this numerator as increment. But in this question, we are decreasing it. So now, We'll take, take this numerator as amount of decrement or decrement amount. Okay. This is the amount of decrement we have to do. Now, similarly in the last question, <coughs> like we decreased it, right? So now uh, my new number will be decreased the number. So my decreased number will be 4 minus 1. Decreased number will be 4 minus 1, 3. Right. But I have related this 4 to 100 this 4 to 100. Now I want to calculate the exact value of this decreased number. So I'll calculate the value of 1. So it will be 25. That is 400 by 4. Now the value of 3 will be 25 into 3. That is 75. Right. This is how we'll decrease a number. So in, in, while increasing the number, we'll add the denominator and numerator. And for decreasing the number, we'll subtract the denominator by the numerator. So I think this will be clear to you now. Are you preparing for defense written exams like NDA, CDS, 
AFCAT or Sanic School Entrance Exam? Join our written exam preparation courses, practice mock tests, and get expert mentor support. Call us at 725-940-7111.